name is Shireen and this is my kitchen. Welcome. Tonight we're doing an inaugural episode of our brand new show that we are reinventing from Gourmet Again. We have a new food business called Vava Vegan and so we're going to be calling the show Vava Vegan. Tonight we are making pita pizzas. All right, let's talk about the ingredients for our pizzas. We use whole wheat pitas, and I'll explain how we prepare them when we get to that stage. And then there is spinach, and we use homemade veggie roni and vegan sausages, bell pepper and red onion, mushrooms, and vegan mozzarella. And over here, we have the homemade marinara. Yum. Mm -mm -mm. Let's start with mushrooms. Chop them up good. The smaller the better. I like to put everything into a big bowl and mix it together for ease of application on the day of making pitas, pita pizzas. Next, I'm gonna chop up an organic bell pepper. Everybody has their own method. I'm gonna seed it, take the veins out. And then we're chopping everything into, you know, it's dice, little dice. I like to have things small size so they cook quickly when they're on the grill. We're gonna make, we usually make grilled pita pizza. If you're doing it in the oven, you can achieve just about the same idea. That's about right. We're making four pizzas. So I'll use a whole bell pepper. Next, I have this cute little red onion. I'm gonna use the whole thing. Onions are so healthy for you. So this is gonna get between a mince and a dice. So smaller than mincing and bigger than dicing. So we maximize our onion intake. All right, it's time for the meat substitutes. We like our texture, right vegans? This is a uh, vegan sausage made by Tofurky. You can use whatever brand that you like, but these have a nice spice. And again, we're gonna just dice these up. And that way there's a little couple bites of sausage in every bite that you take from your pizza. We're going to do two pitas with the sausage and two with my homemade pepperoni, which I call veggie roni. All right, our second meat substitute is homemade veggie roni. All right, here I'm just gonna lop off a chunk of this big mess that I made the other day. That'll be enough for two pitas for it. Our so I like to, again, cut this so that I'm making little, little diced morsels. <laughs> so every bite of your pizza is going to have some of the yummies. All right, we are ready to cut the pitas. We're going to cut them around the edge to make two rounds. So get a serrated knife. A, sh a nice sharp one that you can control really good. This is a steak knife that I'm using. Thank you. 
All right, so gently start piercing the pita. You can either do this on the cutting board or in your hand, depending on how confident you are. So you're gonna make little tiny movements. You don't wanna make big movements here because you don't wanna accidentally slip with the knife. So this is where you get really good at, you know, doing like sushi, sushi chef type knifing, right? Cutting a little bit. You only have to cut about between a quarter and a half of an inch into the edge of the pita because then it's just going to peel open. And there we are all the way around. So I just use my hand to gently peel it apart. And there we go. Now you've got two pita rounds. Beautiful. It's time to spray the pitas. Make sure that you recognize the difference between the outside of the pita and the rough inside. We want to spray the rough inside of the pitas. So we've got them lined up on our cookie sheets. Take out to the grill, or you're going to use these in your oven perhaps. So make sure that they're just coated really nicely with cooking spray. And that's it. So they're coated, and then this side gets cooked downward on the grill or just toasted on the inside lightly so that it doesn't get mushy. So remember you're gonna you're gonna grill or lay flat this side on your cookie sheet in the oven. The pitas are ready. The grill is hot heated on high and we're going to get these babies out to the grill, get them all toasted up on the insides. Yum. All right, we're going to follow Grillmaster Ron to our outdoor grill on the back patio. So he did a lovely job of lighting it up in our twilight time. So remember the pitas go down on the grill with the cut side, the inside down. You can see that this is a soft outside. That'll toast up when all the toppings are on later. Okay, here we go. I forgot to say top open. What? The top open. Oh, yeah. yeah. Top open. Oh, oh, yes. Okay. It's time. Sauce it up. So here's the homemade marinara. This is a one-third measuring cup. I'll just start with that much. I can already tell that's not enough. I like saucy pizza. Just a little bit more. Spread it around. You can use a, a tablespoon if you want or a larger size spoon. That's fine. There it is. Try to get it out to the edges. Who likes boring crust on the edge? And then I like to put the meat substitutes on the bottom because they're heavy. So let's do about half of this. That looks good. And then I just sort of place them around the edges. Again, we're trying to get to the idea that every bite you take of your pizza is going to have all the goodness in it. So we're just loading up. So it's all covered down to the middle and the little corners. And there we go. That looks great. Next, we're going to take all of our vegetables that now you see have the spinach mixed in with the mushrooms and the onions and the bell peppers. I'm just going to take this by the handful and just start spreading it around. I like a lot of vegetables on my pizza. Yeah, Ron says they do get a little heavy, but this is where all the goodness is, is in your nutrition, right? Remember, you wanna maximize your vegetables that have micronutrients in them, and all of these do. At Baba Vegan, we don't just do vegan, we do vegan right. So this is the way we do it. Load it up with veggies. And then we're going to top it with our vegan mozzarella style shreds. It's gonna be fabulous. All right, the last layer of our pizza is the cheesy shreds. So. Just gonna take a little bit of my hand and put them on the top and then I just maneuver them around the edges. Once again, you don't want all the shreds to just be right in the middle of the pizza. You wanna to try to get them on the edge and then ideally that they don't fall off on the way to the grill. <laughs> you can't control everything, right? So just press it down a little bit so they're not like hanging out willy-nilly 
and getting crazy on you on the way to the uh, the oven. Right? That looks pretty good. Oh my gosh, that looks delicious. All right, the grill is super hot right now, but we are going to reduce the heat. Then we'll put the pitas on the grill. And at this point, we're cooking the bottom sides and warming up all the ingredients. So the cheese melts and everything gets warm and cozy for your tummy. Now, all grills are different, right? So your grill might take a little bit longer. It might take more time, but you want to be careful. Or you could even use the top rack if that works for you. If you're using an oven, I recommend that you start at 400 degrees and just keep an eye on things. Let's follow Ron back in the house. All right. That's it? Yeah. Oh. All right, the pizzas are in from the outdoor grill. We figure it took about 10 to 12 minutes on our grill, that may vary for yours. So the most important thing is watching so the bottoms don't burn. That said, Ron moved the pizzas to the upper rack on the grill about halfway through this process. So now it's time to cut these pizzas. Time to serve them. So there's one of the pepperonis. Let's do two of each. a little chunker in there. Stuff happens. <laughs> All right, with that beautiful pizza with homemade veggie roni and sausage, and all the goodness. Pita pizza. Wow, I am so hungry. All right, it's time to wrap up our first episode of Vava Vegan, our new cooking show. We're very excited to get ready for Episode number two. I will make the recipe list available for you either in the comments or somewhere where it's real easy for you to find on the internet, okay? Go on, make some pita pizza and enjoy. Yeah, we're still making stuff up.